Well, this year has actually been, uh, this is our anniversary first year. We've been fortunate to be at the club for three times. Um, so we actually first came to the golf club in 2007 and we were here for about five, six years. Um, and then we returned, I think in 2014 for a year. And then we came back uh, last year. Personally wise, it's been fantastic. Um, we've been absolutely amazed at the, the feedback we've had, uh, the amount of people that come through the doors, the bookings, um, it's been amazing. As a member of the club as well, it's been fantastic uh, just to see the club being buzzing again. Uh, the atmosphere has been tremendous. Had a lot of stick from all the boys, as you would do, but I do think uh, people do appreciate what we've done. Uh, as you can probably see most Saturdays or even most weekends, we're, we're, we're pretty much fully booked. And like I say, it's got a fantastic vibe around the club. Uh, extremely popular, very, very busy. We've been absolutely blown away at how busy we have been. Um, we knew we'd get the support from the members and the, pu and the public of Bathgate, but we've been overwhelmed. Our Facebook page, our social media platforms has just been, every time we post something, people are sharing, commenting good things about it. Um, like I say, we've just created a great vibe to the club. On the back of that, we've been that busy when the phone's ringing, we had to then bring in a new booking system, online booking system, because we couldn't keep up with, with the phone calls and the messages through Facebook. So uh, people are now able to um, reserve their tables either on our Facebook page or on the club's webpage or even on Food Creations webpage as well. So we were very, very fortunate um, when we first started back, we were being that busy and that helped us then with putting some funds together to start upgrading the the clubhouse during the COVID uh, being closed uh, and the windows were going in we were able then to redecorate the whole areas we were able to turn Jerry's office or oh, sorry old office now into a private dining restaurant um, we have also done the centenary lounge we've done the main room as well uh, where they've been painted and we've also upgraded the back bar uh, to a bit more sports bar feel We've now got speakers in the roof and two 65 inch TVs to watch all the, all the sports and golf. Um, what I would probably say from the starters is definitely the homemade pate, the haggis bonbons, uh, chowders. We do a, a huge amount of specials on the weekends as well. So we could have scallops as being again one of our biggest sellers. Uh, on the main courses, the posh steak pie has gone fly out the door. The chicken haggis again flies out the door and our burgers uh, are crazy. We've had to actually spend more money on chopping boards what we use them on because we couldn't keep up with the demand. Well, hopefully we can get open. I think that's the biggest thing. Um, what what I saw when we were open in 20, 2020 and we first came out of lockdown, it was, the place was absolutely mental. Uh, the vibe again was, was tremendous. Um, each room had people in there, it was fantastic. Our hopes of 2021 is just to continue for what, how 2020 went, but also to look at hopefully introducing parties and having more theme nights, restaurant nights, that kind of stuff. And, and just really have, you know, make this venue one of the best venues in Bathgate. I think to be fair, quality of food, quality pricing, you know, that's, you know, you, you do get some places, especially in Bathgate, there's one or two newer places which are open and you look at their pricing, and it's like ridiculously pricing. So hopefully our pricing structure is really good. Uh, location is good as well. You need to have a right location. I think I think that helps. Also, for the catering point of view, is actually to be uh, in charge of the whole clubhouse, as in the bar and the restaurant, which helps. Um, it's it's easier then to control. It's easy when things do go slightly wrong, we have it, that we can get things right quite quickly. Um, and also, you know, a really good committee. Playing golf, uh, hopefully the handicap getting looked at so my handicap doesn't go up too, too or sorry, go down too low. Um, to me, I've been, I've been lucky enough to be a member here since 2007 as well. So to actually play with a lot of my friends, which I do, uh, is it, it's fantastic. Uh, and you know, we can work long shifts, but I've also got the opportunity to play some kind of golf as well, uh, which for me is, is the most important thing getting told things when I'm playing golf to put my golf score off. Um, and I'll probably say, I wouldn't say there's too many, there's not too many um, worse bits actually, because it, it is an enjoyable club. 
the only time is like say when things do go wrong you do feel responsible and you know things do go wrong in times and it, it is sometimes happens but it's how we how we um react to that and make things a lot better and anything does go wrong we always use that as 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 feedback and we make you know we make our standards even better i think maybe that's a bit too far uh hopefully they'll get fourth or fifth at the moment it's been fantastic uh watching from a side you know, we've been we've been with Livy since 2010 on the journey, um, doing all the hospitality, the bars and that kind of stuff. So from our point of view, it's been very frustrating not be able to, to be there and to watch it. But from watching on TV and all that, we're very proud of the team. David Mattendale's doing a fantastic job. Um, the players are reacting to where they need to, where, where, to reacting. And as you've seen, they're on the run. And hopefully at the end of February, they're going to go and win the cup. And unfortunately, we can't have the party, which is the biggest thing I was looking forward to. <laughs> be positive. It'll hopefully get better. And we'll be here when it is.